Hi guys, still at MAPES for the uh, Malaysian Auto Show and this is, well this car does not, it's not getting the same kind of fanfare as some of the other cars that I've videoed but still, it's, uh, it's relatively new. This is the Optima EX. Now uh, you would have remembered on my channel earlier I've reviewed the Optima GT. Ever since then, uh, Kia has already given the Optima a facelift all right, and they have added this new EX variant. So what is the difference? The Optima GT is the uh, is powered by a two liter turbocharged engine with 245 horsepower. This EX here uh, is powered by a naturally aspirated two liter engine with 163 PS, 198 newton meters of torque. But here's the thing: this thing goes for 140,000 ringgit. Then you'll be asking, hey, so 140,000 ringgit means will it, will be, will drop a lot of things right well you'll be surprised that specs wise equipment wise the optima ex here is quite competitive because other than uh well a significant deficit in power from the turbo version it has almost all the equipment that you need okay so the front bumper is the same as the gt but the this this grill here the grill patterns here are different but you see you still get 360 degree camera you still get led headlights okay the rims are downsized from 18s to 17s which look a little small line in this car to be frank but to me that's acceptable all right it is an acceptable uh, reduction in size i i don't i have no complaints and you step inside okay wow fabric seats no big deal for me i don't i like sitting on fabric to be honest uh, the screen here seems to be, seems to have shrunk in size, and and well, I still get powered seat adjustment. Right? I still get power seat adjustment with memory function, no less. Okay, uh, conventional instrument clusters, lah. So yeah, and you can see here, this build quality is good, and uh, well, the GT gets uh, the GT gets wireless charging. This one does not. You still get engine start stop button, uh, dual zone climate control, and uh, yeah, very good utilization of space here. This deep center console here, you got this, uh, this, ah, yeah, right. So you can see you can remove this for, you can either make this your cup holder or just a storage tray up to you, or an all lidded spring loaded retraction, right? This is, this lid is spring loaded. Okay, glove box here, and, uh, nice materials soft touch materials here this is a bit harder plastic but an acceptable grade of heart okay so we come to the back wait before that see this is this feels close to the feels cold to the touch <coughs> and you see all round auto one touch one touch power windows at the back we got rear sun shades okay rear sun shades and uh yep got this armrest here okay with two molded cup holders rear blower 12 volt socket and a usb port let me just show you ah, yeah. right 12 volt socket usb port good good space here let me just sit inside good tie support right very very spacious leg room got pocket here headroom is good okay but here this is leather this this part is leather well it's probably some fake leather but still leather nonetheless i think they could have just done with fabric here and would have been fine for me and you come to the back here all right so the rear design also very understated rear design compared to the gt and i lift this up okay large boot okay nicely sized boot you got 60 40 split folding which you pull which you pull this to release the seat pull this lever to release the seat and you open this all right down here hmm. no spare tire so they've got the tire repair kit and this this uh this hidden tray underneath let me just go inside and pull the seat down so you can pull this down okay so there's a bit of a step connecting from the boot floor to the seat back here right and uh, yeah so the this the seat belt here the middle passenger seat belt is also the two buckle design yeah so 
Yep, we got 360 degree camera. Where's the? Okay, so here's the side mirror camera or the side view. So overall, I would say right, 140,000 ringgit. Okay, without driving it, I haven't driven it yet. But 140,000 ringgit, this Optima EX is great value for money for the amount of kit that it's all that it offers. What does 140,000 ringgit get you? Honda no longer offers you 140,000 ringgit Accord. Toyota Camry, lagi no need to say lah. So. 140,000 ringgit, get, getting you a D-segment sedan at this size is brilliant value for money. Now, um, when I drove the Optima GT, the turbo version, all right, I felt that, well, the engine was nice, punchy, handling was okay, so, but the um, Kia's 2-liter NA engines usually are pretty average lah, uh, when, you come, when you compare them in terms of refinement and performance and fuel consumption to the Japanese but still for the money that's being charged right really cannot ask for more guys if you are shopping for 140,000 ringgit um, D segment sedan alright this car is definitely definitely worth checking out no question